The purpose of this video is to help introduce you to the Glencoe Documents keyboarding section of the class. This is the part where you're going to be using Word and Excel and those sorts of things. So here we go. First, we're going to go to your computer screen. And on your screen, of course, like normal, you're going to go ahead and open the Glencoe icon on your screen here. And log in to the program like you normally do. So you're going to find the class, find your name in the class, type in your password, and bring up the lessons like normal. We are going to actually start with Lesson 36. This is in Unit 2. When you bring this up the first time, it will probably start at the beginning of the unit with Lesson 21, but we're not doing those things. So you click down here on More. Lesson 36 is the first lesson, but there's nothing to save there. It's mostly just a review to make sure you know some basic things about Word. So we're going to look at Lesson 37. When you bring up these lessons, you'll notice that after all the typing practices, there's something called Software Features. This is where the document lessons are going to be. Most of the document lessons that you're going to do are going to be contained in the smaller of the two books, the student manual. But you will sometimes need the larger book to look at reports and to kind of get an idea of what it is you're supposed to be creating. So let's double click on this and it brings you into a screen that explains a little bit about what this is. Use the arrow. And now it opens what looks like a blank Word document. There's something special about this particular document, though. If you look at the top of the screen, the last thing above the toolbar says KCA. We use that to go back into the Glencoe program. The other feature that's important is in this bottom toolbar here, there is a folder that looks like it's open. Click on that folder. When you do, it will bring up your information. It'll have your name here. And what's most important is it will have the practice lessons that go with that particular part of the book right here. So I have done, as an example, practice lesson 3B or 37B. So what I want to do is just open that. Can I show you how this works? And in this particular case, the lesson has some misspellings and they want us to fix it. On every one of your um, lessons like this, except for reports or something where you're told to do something else, what I'd like you to do is go ahead and move that text down a little bit, put your name at the top of the page, put the date also, and then you can go through and make whatever changes the lesson calls for you to make. In this case, they want us to fix the spelling changes. So we're going to go to spell check here, and for the words that are wrong, we're going to check and see which change we want to make. We'll go ahead and check the other ones. We're going to change this. We know that this is meant to be are not, so we're not going to say aren't. We're going to choose are not. We're going to stay as close to the original as possible, just fix what's wrong with it. Names, of course, just ignore because people spell their names all sorts of different ways. So here we have the choice we want, and there you go. Now when you have finished doing the things the document asks you to do, what you need to do is go to View and click on that. Come down to Header and Footer. We're actually going to want a footer. Whenever you bring this up, this little toolbar comes with it. So we're going to go over here. And this choice says, switch between header and footer. Click on that one time. Now this is going to be a footer on your page. And you come in here, and it says, insert auto text. So choose that. We're going to come down to file name and path. Not file name alone, but file name and path. Click once on that. And you'll see that it gives your document a name, including your name, to identify that. Now we're going to close this and sometimes when you scroll on the page you might not see that on this page but when you print this out it's going to be there. 
Now this is a read-only file, so students can't change it in a way that makes it impossible for other students to access it. So in order to save it, you need to go to File and Save As. Don't just say Save. You must use Save As. We're going to change the name. The 37B stays there, but the word Practice becomes the word Student. Just like that. If you've got it right, then you're going to save. And since I had done this before, I'm going to replace my, my other document. When you have completed the document, print it out. That way, no little glitches in the computer or any problems like that can make it look like you didn't do the work. So you turn in a hard copy to the teacher. When you're done with the particular lesson, you go back up here to KCA and click one time on that. You have the choice return to KCA, yes. And it takes you right back here. So if you wanted to do the next lesson, you could do that. Go into here. And again, you have to open the folder to see you know, what else there might be that you might need to open. If you follow the directions that are in the book, you shouldn't have any trouble knowing what document it is that you're trying to do. Okay then, why don't you go ahead and get started with the first lesson and give it a try.